So my name is Professor Sir Stephen Powis. I'm the National Medical Director of the NHS in England and it really is a pleasure to be here at The Spine in Liverpool tonight uh, to celebrate uh, all the uh, award winners and uh, those that have uh, been put up for awards at, the, at this year's Northwest Coast Research and Innovations Award. Well, the last time I was at the awards was three years ago. It was, it was in late February 2020. Uh, of course, it was winter, it was darker, uh, but it was also uh, just at the point that the pandemic was starting to unfortunately take off and particularly uh, we were getting very concerned about uh, cases in the UK uh, and I remember it was an incredibly busy time unfortunately I, need to spend, I need to, needed to spend some of the time that evening uh, taking calls uh, around uh, the things that we were having to do and of course you know uh, you can't see uh, but I'm looking across uh, the Mersey here uh, behind you and um, of course uh, Arrow Park Hospital is across there and I very well remember uh, that it was around that time, just in the weeks before, that, that uh, Arrow Park had, had done a fantastic job in setting up that quarantine facility that we needed to bring people back uh, from China, in particular, uh, in the early days of the pandemic. So coming back, you know, reminds me of all those things, reminds me of the fantastic work uh, that everybody in the NHS has done, and of course, particularly here uh, locally in Liverpool and the world. Well, my first reflection on 75 years of the NHS is that I've worked in the NHS for over half of it. Uh, which is terrifying, um, but um, but 75 years. Well, what has changed in 75 years? So, so there are people, you know, still able to tell us what that first day on the 5th of July 1948 was like, uh, and what they will tell you in the, the years beforehand. It was difficult to access uh, medical care. It cost money, so not everybody came forward when they needed to. And just on on that day, things flipped, uh, and there was a transformation. People were able to come forward. They were able to be seen and have their illnesses treated uh, and everybody who tells you those stories will say what a remarkable difference it was in the years after. But of course 75 years, goodness me, haven't we seen some changes. Uh, it's you know hard to believe but in 1948 we didn't know that smoking caused lung cancer. That was in the 1950s, Richard Dole, the epidemiologist in Oxford. We didn't have organ transplantation. I'm a kidney doctor, my specialty was kidney transplantation. That wasn't around in 1948, that came in the 1950s. Uh, and in the UK, it was first in, in the States and in 1960s in the UK, we didn't have an organ donation register. We didn't have defibrillators for when you have a heart attack. We didn't have MRI scanners or CT scanners. We just had uh, x-rays. Uh, we didn't have genetics. It wasn't until, until the 1950s that the structure of DNA was elucidated. So we knew very little uh, about DNA and, and genes and how they affect disease. And here we are, we wind forward 75 years. We've got trials at the moment in England looking at the early diagnosis of cancer through a blood test, uh, looking at alterations in DNA. Uh, we've got artificial intelligence reading those images, uh, aiding uh, radiologists in the diagnosis of disease. Uh, and we've got MRI scanners, we've got CT scanners. Uh, we've got all sorts of fantastic diagnostic interventions, some of which can be done remotely now uh, and can be transmitted digitally uh, so that you don't even need to go to the hospital or the GP uh, to have that diagnosis. Over the last 75 years, things have changed. Uh, you know, it's really uh, hard to imagine what it would be like in 75 years' time. In what will that will be? That will be 20, uh, 90, uh, 2098. Yeah. Uh, goodness me, uh, I can't even begin to think what healthcare will be like. Uh, I'm sure artificial intelligence and digital will transform healthcare. I'm sure there'll be diagnostic techniques we can't even dream of uh, at the moment. But one thing I do know, and that is that in 1948, it was the staff of the NHS, it was the people who came uh, together to create the NHS, doctors, nurses, porters, engineers, everybody, uh, that were the heartbeat of the NHS and 75 years later today that is still the case. Uh, all the technology in the world, all the estate in the world, all the hospitals, all the buildings, it's still the people who make the uh, NHS work and I'm pretty sure that in 75 years time it will still be the people who work in the NHS who will be the most important thing and will be the people uh, who provide the compassion, the kindness, uh, the one-to-one -one care uh, that really makes the difference to people's lives.